G'day mates. For 12 years, I've been trying to figure out the YouTube algorithm to get the most exposure, the most amount of views. I've been experimenting with different titles, different video topics. And yesterday I cracked the code. I have broken Google's algorithm and figured out the secret sauce. And you know what it is, guys? Jugs. Jugs, my friends. If you put jugs in your title, that is what gets you views. Now, I wanna follow up on my video on my little distiller friend here. I'm clearly not an expert. I'm pretty good with the CPAP stuff, but the distiller, look, I'll be honest. I had it one night and I just wanted to share it with you. I was very excited about it. Now, had a lot of comments, mostly about the thumbnail. I'm glad you all enjoyed that one, well, most of you did. Some of you not too happy, but that's the way it goes. So here's a few tips from the distiller experts. Starting with Jono, g'day Jono. Been using one for 12 months now for my CPAP. My timer is set to three hours and 20 minutes. Residual water in the pot helps the element life and minimizes crud after each boil. This is a really good tip here, guys. The distiller does have an auto off function when all the water evaporates but you don't want all the water to completely evaporate because once it completely evaporates, that heating element, like the stainless steel metal here, down the bottom, it starts to like burn the residue and it's much harder to get the crud off the bottom. So by setting a timer, there's a little bit of water left in, makes it much easier to clean. Great tip, Jono. He's also pointed out there's a little charcoal filter in the funnel you must change once a month. Now, that's great, mate, because there was nothing in the manual about that. I did have a look. I wondered what these little things were. They're activated, activated charcoal filters, and they go in here. So you just, what do you do? I can't remember. There you go, you pull forward there. That pops out. And then inside, there's your little activated charcoal and that takes out chemicals and minerals and stuff yeah very scientific of me there so another great tip there johnny boy what else we got oh yeah you can get rid of the crud at the bottom after use using a soft brush and white vinegar or citric acid and soak for half an hour now, we all know with the CPAP humidifiers, you can use that white vinegar, one to 10 with water, uh, which works really well. So you can obviously use that in here as well. But the distiller came with these magic crystals here as well. And this is the citric acid. And this stuff is insanely good. I mean, I had a bit of crud on the bottom. I just sprinkled a bit of the magic, <laughs> magic powder in there, poured some hot water in, and then it just, psh, dissolved so that stuff there i don't know if you can use it with cpap humidifiers but citric acid my god man it is insanely good at getting crud um scaling off surfaces he's also noted the water is handy for the iron water in the car radiator and the coffee machine a few people mentioned the coffee machine so i'll have to try it in my coffee machine because i do love a cup of joe Caution, don't drink it regularly as there are no minerals in it and prolonged consumption will draw out minerals from your body. We need to hang on to as many as possible. There you go. So I was very tempted to start jugging the distilled water. This looks so clear, so fresh, so demineralized, but we obviously need some minerals, so don't go drinking it nonstop. And then we got Robert Littman, Robbie boy. I've been distilling water for my CPAP and humidifiers and others for a few years now. I've made several hundred, hundred gallons. Here are some of the things you may want to know. So his timer is set for two hours and 39 minutes. 39 minutes there, guys. Not 40, 39. This guy has it down to a fine art, and I love that about Robbie Boy. Aside from the first time I ran it dry using the built-in auto stop, it has not collected any new scale since then, so I have not had to descale it. Use a timer and figure out how much time your machine needs. Scale will not be an issue. So the timer is really important there. Hey, 
spend a few extra bucks and buy the one with the glass jug. The plastic is known to impart plastic smell that you may get hints of when using your CPAP machine. So some of you already get that cpap -y plastic smell from your CPAP machine. So old Robbie recommends get the plastic jug. I mean, the glass jug. What else has he got? Words of wisdom. He's talked about the carbon filter as well. Another great tip. Number four, he's got a great big list. Electricity is expensive, but distilling your own water is still cheaper than buying it. Even so, make the most of your energy by running the distiller overnight on cooler nights because it warms up your home. There you go. And I think that's a great point. Uh, we all know with electricity, you have those peak hour times off peak. So just set the timer up so it runs during off peak and maybe set it up so it runs a couple of hours before you wake up in the morning. You can walk into the kitchen and have a nice warm kitchen to make your toast. And then you can use some of the water for your coffee. How good is that? All right, Albert, what does Albert have to say? I use the Viva distiller to distill 17% by volume or 34% proof fortified port wine to make crude vodka that I filter through a carbon filter. I don't need distilled water as, I, as for 15 years I don't use a humidifier, but when I do, I tip the vodka into the humidifier and get a nice little buzz from my CPAP. I just threw that bit in at the end there. <laughs> Viva has many good products at affordable, at affordable pricing. All right, so there you have it guys. A few more tips for you all. And I think the, the most important one there is the timer. So use the timer. It was incredible. Once that water did run dry and there was a little bit left, how brown it was. I couldn't believe how brown my tap water was when you take out all the goodness and just leave the shit behind. It looked like toilet brush water. It was pretty disgusting. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Um, obviously, you'll be seeing a lot more jugs in videos in the future because it really helps with the click through rate. I know a lot of my viewers, the old, the old fellas. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll throw in a few surprises for the little old lady too. Have a good one guys. Thanks for watching, cheers.